Right. I call this meeting of the Council of Living Snowmen to order. Is everyone here? Frosty? Present. Olaf? Present. The Abominable? Um, I don't think I'm actually a snowman. What? Uh, I mean, I mean, it's right there as part of your name. Even so, I, I think I'm a yeti or something. Oh, right. Well, fuck off then. Fair enough. Right, sorry about that. And lastly, Eric. Uh, present. Now, on to agenda item one. Uh, sorry, uh, who put you in charge? What do you mean, who put me in charge? I'm the snowman. When you've flown around the world with Alad Jones, maybe you can chair the meetings. Oh, makes sense. So, agenda item number one, migration. The good news is that the humans still haven't figured out that we migrate north for the summer to avoid getting melted. The bad news is that last time a fleet of snowmen crossed path with a flock of birds going the other way and... Well, the resulting melee was a horrible mess of blood and bone and scarves and coal and feathers, so please plan your routes carefully, everyone. I can handle a few poxy birds. I'm not saying you can't, but this affects all of us, and now, as a result, we all have to watch out for an increase of incidents of getting shat on by robins. Some sort of half-baked revenge attempt by the bird community. I just bought a new hat. You see, now you've upset Ola. Not really, I'm perpetually happy. Right, agenda item number two, global warming. If we don't do something about this soon, there might not be anywhere we can live without melting. This situation is so serious, I'm upping the threat level to a yellow snow alert. (laughs) Don't take the piss! No, of course not. Thank you. If we took the piss out of it, then it wouldn't be yellow snow! A yellow snow alert is not funny! Why should we have to do anything about global warming? It's the human's fault! I know it's their fault, but it's our problem. It stinks. I wish I could tell when something stinks. Pardon? I was just saying, I wish I could tell when something stinks, but when the humans built me, they they didn't give me a carrot. Actually, I, I think they did. It's just lower down. Good grief. Oh, so it is. Well, how am I meant to smell anything from there? Um... Never mind. So, ideas for helping with global warming. I don't see what the problem is. We've been over this. Remember what it felt like before you were brought to life? Yeah? Well, imagine feeling like that again, but also being a wet puddle on the floor. That's what will happen if we don't do something about global warming. Oh. Look, first off, we can't be seen to glorify fossil fuel consumption with our sartorial choices. So from now on, no more buttons made out of coal. Instead, you can use these lovely miniature wind turbines. We look ridiculous! Well, we've all got to make sacrifices. Now, agenda point three. This is a rather delicate one, but I feel I have to raise it again. Not! Yes, I'm afraid so. As we all know, there is a fine line between a magical adventure and child abduction. It was one time! I don't care! So please, if you are going to go flying around the world with a child, please make sure you're back by the morning, and remember to cast the spell that makes them think it was all a dream. I'm sorry, alright? If in doubt, remember the rhyme. Back before dawn, it's a magical time, but if anyone sees, it's a terrible crime. Wait, I think some humans are coming! What? Everybody freeze! He says that every time. Hey, look, he's a bunch of snowmen! <laughs> it's, it's like they're having a meeting. Have you seen where that one's got his carrot? <laughs> Boy, put it back. Uh, okay. Not there. Oh, come on, it's funny. Anyway, let's go. Okay, guys, break it to me gently. Where did they put the carrot now? You don't want to know. I feel violated.